Well, it may be sunny outside right now, but problems are still being felt at Philly International Airport after yesterday's stormy weather. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Nikki Dementri is live at PHL with the very latest. Good afternoon, Nikki. Good afternoon, Jim. So many people have described the last 24 hours here at Philadelphia International as simply a mess. I want you to take a look. We're in baggage claim right now. You're taking a live look. That line you see is the customer assistance area for baggage for American. Some people told me that line overnight stretched all the way to the back wall. It's a little bit shorter, but we see people going in and out. Now take a look at all these bags. They are still looking for a home right now. This guy just said it's been brutal. And that's what we keep hearing again and again at last check on flight aware. There are 85 delays and actually last check more than 100 delays and more than 30 cancellations today. Yesterday, that number was a lot higher. I want you to take a look. This is video from overnight. It shows that mountains of bags at PHL, a lot more than what you're seeing right now. An airport spokesperson notes yesterday saw more than 350 delays and nearly 50 cancellations. The majority of those flights were through American Airlines. A spokesperson for the company says the baggage issues were due to ramp closures because of lightning, while the severe thunderstorm warning caused flight problems. Several travelers flying American told us they waited on the tarmac for hours before being sent back to their gates. We sat on the tarmac for five hours. So there's tons of us sleeping all over the airport because they're canceling all of their flights now. And so they tell me if I want to book back, if they can rebook me, they can't rebook me until Tuesday. You just heard from Tammy. She is trying to get home to Arizona. She's actually still standing just a couple feet away from me right now. She's over there. She said she is rebooked on a different airline to fly out tonight. And again, just a reminder for everybody flying out for the 4th of July holiday, that travel season officially starts a week from today. For now, live at the airport, Nikki Dementri, Jim, back to you. Thank you, Nikki. Appreciate it.